Hello, Agent Shepard. I want the names of the four agents who are following me, or you will never see your daughter again. <sighs> your daughter's life or theirs? Wait, wait! Five, four, Just three, stop counting! Two, one. Stephen Highbuck, Brian Lanick, Desiree Villarreal, Lane Hebron! Eric Shepard. You're under arrest for espionage and conspiracy against the United States of America. When the show opens up, it starts off three years after I arrest Erica Shepard. Mikhail Tall, he's planning an attack on American lives as we speak. There has to be someone who can help you find him. We need to bring in Erica Shepard. She was the best code breaker in the history of the CIA. Keaton's fiance was a casualty of Erica's choice to save her daughter. She sees the world differently, Will. She killed Lane. Did you forget that? I know what she took from you, but she's the only chance we have to find a man responsible. What's at the heart of the show is people and the lives that they live and the people that they care about. Hello, Agent Keaton. I'm here to make you an offer in exchange for your cooperation. With what? Raquel Tall. You will never find them. Erica has a line in the pilot where she says, you have no idea what people are capable of. And that sort of says everything. If I have to work with the devil to catch Tall, I will. What I feel separates this show from many shows on TV is the heart and the emotion of the show. I made a choice to save my daughter. Then why didn't you say anything? Erica wants desperately to see her daughter, and Will is the gatekeeper. I want to fight every day to earn my way back into her life. It's hard not to erupt in volcanic tears from time to time, which is not something I think people are used to seeing in a show about spies. The end game is really hard to predict with this show because we're constantly being taken back to where we just can't escape what's happened to us. You can save this country. But you cannot do it without me.